Yeah, let's do this one. Why not? Oh, man, it has less than a thousand views. Am I picking on a small YouTuber again? No, because this isn't a guy trying to make content based around Megalodon Reacts. This is a guy actually trying to make one. He caught Megalodon on camera. New evidence that Megalodon exists. 700 views. Jumping into the deep end on this one. Megalodon was one of the strongest, most invulnerable, and... Am I crazy or have we heard this dude's voice a million times before? Is this like the leading voice actor on Fiverr? Why, why, I swear I've heard him for like big channels. Why is he working with a channel that has 1,000 subscribers? Did he split off and make his own channel or is he just an extremely... The cheapest voice actor that Fiverr has to offer? Fearsome predators on our planet. The monsters swam in the ocean, devouring any creature it was lucky to encounter. The only comforting thought is that Megalodon has long since disappeared. Or not. We'll find out the answer in this episode. Let's go. Even AI, I don't think, could write a new hook. The amount of, like, you know, all of these videos start with a hook about how, you know, the Megalodon was a, you know, fearsome predator in its day, but it might still be around nowadays. Or, like, it's extinct, or is it? But I feel like we've watched so many videos that the hooks all start to sound the same. Like, no matter how many people you have writing hooks, it'll just be the same thing. Megalodon in the Mariana Trench. Japanese marine researchers set up a huge bait cage and a pressure resistant huge video camera bait cage. and flashlight. Huge bait cage. What's your source on that? Because I'm pretty sure the actual sources say that it was a crab cage. So it's like this big ish. It's just a regular crap, crab trap. In the Mariana Trench, the people hoped to capture a new species of creature or just get unique footage. And they succeeded. A huge shark. Presumably, and why is it all in the Mar Mariana Trench? I don't know. I don't know what the obsession is. I think it's just because it's really far away from us and it's really deep that people use that as like. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what the obsession is, but you're right. There is a weird obsession. What's the obsession with the Megalodon? I mean, I guess cool giant predator, but what is the obsession with the uh, with the trench specifically? Because it's so deep that we can't explore it fully. I guess that's true. If you said that the Megalodon was like in the Indian Ocean, it would be like, okay, well, let's go find it. But if you say it's in the trench, but even the trench, we've been all the way to the bottom of the trench. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me no matter what. Its weight was clearly dozens of tons and its aggressive behavior. What do was you mean of all the things you could have come up with a measurement for its like its length or something? How are you guessing its weight based on this footage? Clearly dozens of tons, actually. As an expert in uh, estimating the weight of creatures from underwater footage of them in front of a crab trap, barely in the frame at all, I'm going to have to say in my expert opinion that this is a dozen of ton fish. It's fully consistent with all the stories about this predatory fish. You should try and find these Fiverr voice actors. Should I do a video where I hire this voice actor on Fiverr to talk about why the Megalodon doesn't exist? And then send it, make it, make a Megalodon <laughs> video. We have to see how expensive he is. What if he's expensive? What if these channels are forking out big bucks for these Megalodon videos? I'd bankroll that video. All right, well, I guess we have to find him. Well, can one of you guys find him? If you find him, put it in stream ideas in the Discord. He's probably on Fiverr, right? He's probably on Fiverr. If you can find him... Or if it's an AI generated voice, whatever. Put it in stream ideas on Discord and I will make a Megalodon video with it. Just try to find him for me. To biologists, such large sharks do not exist in the world. At least scientists have never encountered similar ones. Nevertheless, a lot yes, of skeptics have. got into this story, believing that all this video is nothing more than a staging and a hoax. What do no you one think? believes that. Could someone really have faked this footage? Literally no one thinks that the footage is fake. It's just not of what you think it is of. Considering that this case is not the only potential proof of the existence of these super predators, I begin to believe more and more in what's happening. The fact is that not so long ago, in Yamal, Russia, scientists stumbled upon the jaw of a megalodon. Of course, it wasn't fresh, it was just an ordinary fossil. Nevertheless, its size and shape lead scientists and ordinary people New to evidence? believe the impossible. No, really, what else creature could have a jaw measuring 5 feet in length, 3.2 feet in width? It has many triangular shaped Wait, what? teeth. 
two to three inches long. They found a fossil jaw of a megalodon in Russia. How is this evidence that it exists uh, now? You have to agree that it's unlikely that a common shark could have such a large size. Wait, what? That what? So they literally found a fossil in Russia and he assumed that that just must mean that it's still alive now? He even said it wasn't, did he not say it's a normal fossil? Megalodon? Of course it wasn't fresh, it was just an ordinary fossil. Then what is this evidence? What the hell? Oh, I can't wait to see how he introduced this as a group of marine biologists marveled at a basking shark. All those who believe in Megalodon will now think. This footage was taken from a high point of a ship full of research students. Yep. People were lucky enough to see with their own eyes a shark of simply gigantic, abnormal size. Not abnormal. According to my senses, it was two or even three times the size of all the other sharks. Once again, what are all of the other? What do you mean your senses? What? According to my senses, it is two to three times the size of all the other sharks. I can't think of a more arbitrary statement. According to my senses, it's two to three times all the other. What other sharks? What are these metrics? Where are these things coming from? <laughs> this is the same dude, by the way, who said that that's dozens of tons. That fit random half of a fish that he saw. Personally, find it hard to believe that this is an ordinary species of shark with some deviation in terms of size. But the version Not about megalodon lurking somewhere in the depths and accidentally showing itself to people doesn't sound so stupid anymore. It's a pity it was just students, not a trained group of divers and ocean explorers. They would have quickly put a motion detector on that shark, taken good shots out of the water, and could have said for sure what it was. Well, in the meantime, we have to limit ourselves. It's actually pretty easy to identify from above. I mean, the only thing that looks even remotely like a basking shark is a basking shark. They are a very unique fish, so. To our own. Yeah, the fact that it accidentally showed itself is a funny concept, which means that in this guy's head cannon, the megalodon is purposefully hiding from us. It knows that we are searching for it and is hiding from us on purpose. This guy is literally like paranoid about the fucking megalodon conspiracies. It knows it's hiding from us. A Florida diver found a real underwater dweller's tooth. Particularly surprising in this story is that the tooth has just enormous size, six inches long. What creature could have such a tooth? Judging by its shape, it's clearly not a sperm whale tooth. And in that case, to which creature, if not what? to the giant shark, could it even belong? In my opinion, this is yet another wake-up call to science. Well, I'm so confused. Is he arguing that the Megalodon existed once upon a time? He's used two different fossil examples. Yes, the jaw of a Megalodon and the teeth of a Megalodon can be found fossilized all over the world. No one is denying that it never existed. At least I've never heard of that conspiracy theory that it never existed. We're just denying that it exists now. What? Scientists that Megalodon was swimming, or is swimming, somewhere underwater. By the way- <laughs> What? Was swimming somewhere underwater? How is this new evidence? The boy, along with his father, was walking on the Bawdsey Beach in Suffolk, UK, which is popular with fossil seekers. And the family was lucky. They found a really rare and impressive artifact. As you understand, I'm talking about a giant tooth of a giant shark. A four inch long tooth, barely fitting in the palm of a child's so hand, confused. was shown to an evolutionary biologist who confidently stated that it was the tooth of a megalodon. And now if we compare that it's a megalodon tooth, remember past story or the one where people found a fossilized jaw, and then project all this onto huge creatures. This is the fucking evidence. This is where it all comes together. We project the multiple fossils that he's presented onto this video of a basking shark. There's <laughs> underwater with the same body shape. We can conclude that. Megal what do you mean the same body shape? Your fossils were a two teeth and a jaw. What do you, what, we literally just talked today about how the Dunkleosteus was missized by orders of magnitude because we only had its jaw. Megalodons really do swim somewhere in our waters to this day. In 2013, a group of tourists was sailing the waters in South Africa and nothing seemed to be going wrong when all of a sudden someone attacked their boat. <clears throat> of course, I'm talking about an attack from below. 
However, in order for this process to be successful for a predator, it needs to be extremely large and strong because otherwise this boat simply cannot flip over. And unfortunately, that's what it turned out to be. You look how quickly and easily the boat was overturned and panic and screaming began on the boat. They the story, as you've already realized, has a sad ending. None of the bodies were found by the rescuers. There's been controversy for years about what creature could have done such a thing. Wait, what? They found the video but none of the bodies? How do you find the video of it happening if you didn't find the bodies? What? It's hard to believe it was a whale. These creatures do not usually show a desire to eat people. Then yeah, this just seems like an entirely fake story. So they've perfectly preserved footage, which for some reason they were recording the entire thing as it happened. But it's really good of the shark to upload that. Shout out to the shark. That shark was a really good guy. He wanted to make sure that their story you know, wasn't forgotten. So he, he grabbed the phone and uploaded the video afterwards. It was actually the shark recording the whole thing. The footage is from the perspective of the shark. It leaves us to believe it was a giant shark. The one which name begins with the letter M. Mm. A 30 foot long. Why can't I think of a different shark that starts with the letter M? Mm. Maka. Mako. Why did I think it was Maka? Mako. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. I forgot. Long shark was caught on camera by ordinary sailors in South Carolina. The most amazing thing in this story is that the creature crept up on people quite suddenly and unnoticed. Oh yeah, Mega Mouth too. That's what I call an experienced and intelligent fish. According to the sailors, a number of signs of the shark indicated that it was still small, but how big in such a case could it grow? Do you think it could have been a baby megalodon? No. Or did the sailors make a mistake and it was just an ordinary shark? Yes, because right. I've never known sailors to exaggerate the size of fish. What an unheard of concept. But still, what was megalodon really? I suggest we delve into its history to better understand all. I suggest we don't delve into its history and take information from you on it. I suggest we uh, be done with this video. That was lovely. Actually, the first time I've heard new evidence in a long time, and it was just three fossil stories and saying, now if we project like those um, crime shows where they're like enhance on the criminal and they fucking zoom in 10 times. If we project this fossil onto this image, this video of this creature, this is what we get. Um, but hey, hey, new evidence is new evidence, I guess. All right. That is it for today, chat. Whoa.